What can I say? Things move fast here. It's not like high school. To be in New York. That whole center of the world vibe to it. New York is glamorous and fun and sexy and gritty. It's competitive. So whenever I think of New York, I just think of like Broadway. It really is probably the only place where you can actually make a career out of musical theater. It's more than that's where your career can advance. It's that's where everyone with those dreams go. New York means so much to me personally. That's where I'm from, it's where I was born and raised and I grew up on Broadway and one of the scenes when we went to Sardi's, I was going to Sardi's when I was eight years old. The decision to go to New York was like a huge, huge decision that none of us took lightly. We knew we had to send these kids off because it was such an important thing thematically. First of all, we were stuck because we'd said in the pilot that like Rachel was a sophomore. Look, I know I'm just a sophomore, but I can feel the clock ticking away and I don't want to leave high school with nothing to show for it. It was important for Rachel to be in New York because since the beginning of the show, it just felt like the natural progression for where these characters would end up after high school. And especially in seeing them in season two go to New York, from the minute we shot that episode, I was like, this is where they have to be. Rachel and Kurt need to be in New York together. We're a show about following your dreams. It seemed important to actually follow through on that, and particularly with the character of Rachel, who's been so adamant about, I'm gonna go for the gold star. To take her from a big fish in a small pond to the biggest pond of all, which is New York. I think Kurt really needed to get out of Lima. I, I think for him and, uh, and his horizon to expand, he, he really needed to get out and go to a place that had more options for him. New York has definitely been a third character. We've gotten to shoot there and mimic the energy of New York at Niada and, you know, obviously in the external stuff that we've done. I'm in a New York state of mind. Shooting in New York for Glee is like tricky just because you're constantly on top of people. So the problem with shooting on location in New York is just to keep things under wraps. There's a lot of spoilers that are spilled when we shoot in New York. We got to film in some really cool little parks down there. But the crazy thing about New York is there's fans that come down and watch you film. And the first day that I filmed there, it was hundreds of people that came down. So we had to put barricaded gates up. And I've never experienced this before, so and Leah has, I mean, she sits there and she's fine, but there's like an audience, it's almost like we're on a stage. So even during rehearsal, I could not remember my words. I was so distracted. Like New York needs to feel authentic and real and allowed to be a character and a player on the show. This is such like a great breath of fresh air. This is Dance 101, my name's Cassandra July, and if you are not suffering from severe body dysmorphia, then you don't want it enough. We found out that there were two guest stars, Kate and Sarah Jessica, and they were in reference to Kurt and Rachel. And so Chris and I sort of put it together in our heads. I was like, I bet you Sarah is with you in like the Vogue world and Kate's with me. And But I didn't know exactly what she'd be doing. And then when I found out she was gonna be my dance teacher, I was like, I'm gonna lose my mind. I was cast on Glee because Ryan Murphy said he wanted, he's like, I want to see you sing and dance. Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? And all that jazz. Doing this again kind of got me back into it, and now I've been dancing all the time. When I got the song Americano, I was really excited because it was powerful. I didn't realize I was going to be like doing lifts and learning it in four hours, but we did it. The best part about performing dance is that when you hit it, there's this life force that happens, this camaraderie, and you're just elated. New York teachers are it's very different than in Los Angeles. You're not tough enough yet, you don't have enough wounds. You're getting prepared to go do six months, eight shows a week, dancing for two and a half hours straight, and whether you're sick whether everybody hates your guts. Your PK turns are pathetic and your stuck up little attitudes really pissing me off. Or whether you're the biggest star on the planet and you're, you're in a hit show. Either way, the discipline and the dedication on Broadway is like nothing else. To do it here and to do it with everybody and all the great dancers that Zach has brought in, it's just been like, it's been awesome. Hey, you're a freshman, right? Yeah, I'm Rachel Berry. I'm majoring in musical theater. Me too. She meets this guy, and you got to see a different side of her with him. I got a call a few weeks before we started shooting this season that we were looking for a character for Rachel to have, you know, a relationship with this season, and if I would come in and if I would test, you know, with some of the guys. And I've never done that for the show before. You're a freshman, right? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm Rachel Berry. I'm majoring in musical theater. Me too. 
I knew that Dean was 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 right. He was Brody. You were here because you're the best of the best. Stop believing that. Oh, and in case you're wondering, which you were, I'm straight. When I'm acting with Leah, it, it, it's just really natural because she's, it just feels like I'm talking to someone in real life. But there's like five cameras behind her. I'm looking for a new TA. I think you'd be perfect, but it's gonna mean a lot of late nights, a lot of time out of school. You're gonna have to help me prep lessons. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter, I'm, I'm in. Good decision. And working with Kate is, it's wonderful. I did the dance rehearsal with, with her two days before we filmed that little dance scene in here. And then we obviously ended up on the piano and you know, I was, I was on top of her looking down and you, you realize that this is Kate Hudson like in front of your face. Dean is a sweetheart. He knows the assets that he has and so do the producers. <laughs> so poor Dean, I think, even though sometimes he's a little bit going like, do I really have to take my shirt off in this scene? The producers and everybody at Fox is going, Yes, you do, because everybody's gonna love it. Isabel Wright. Kurt Hummel. I really had very little knowledge about the fashion world whatsoever when I started Glee, and because Kurt was so involved in it, I really wanted to know the, the people that I was mentioning in the script, so I, I would watch documentaries like the September issue, and it was really mind-blowing. What a world it is, and it's been really exciting to recreate it with Kurt's new journey in New York. So welcome to Vogue.com. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. That should come with a warning. Oh, um, it did. I don't know too many other 18-year-olds who get internships immediately with major corporations. So that was that was nice. That was a plus. That was a benefit. Um, but uh, he he's really been able to stretch his wings there. Everyone has heard about the Vogue Vault, like the famous Vogue Vault. So to get to get a peek inside that world for these characters. The Vogue Vault set was very Devil Wears Prada, and, and those those uh, outfits that Leah wore were actually vintage clothing. Like there was like security for the clothes. It was crazy. There were so many amazing clothes. I had like security guards following me all day. I was in a changing room with a big man who couldn't leave my side because I had millions of dollars of diamonds on. Like I, I couldn't even try to steal it like I wanted to. Oh God, I'm an artist, not a manager. I love Sarah Jessica Parker and I was so scared to work with her at first because I remember watching her and being obsessed with her when she was in Hocus Pocus. And then, you know, she's in Sex and the City and now she's working with us and I love her to death. She's exactly how I expected her to be. Let's have a kiki. I wanna have a kiki. Lock the door tight. Let's have a kiki. Mother. I'm gonna let you have it. The character, Isabel, it's so unique. And it's like she completely built this character from the ground up and made her so interesting. You know, where she sort of could have been this uh, you know, very um, intense, high-powered, vogue, you know, Anna Wintour type, she gave her the this sort of loneliness and this quirkiness. That's exactly what I'm talking about, everybody. I don't want any rules, just toss them. You're thinking of signing up, aren't you? Oliver is great. I have never seen the crew uh, fall in love with someone so quickly. Usually it takes a little, a little time, you know, it usually takes about a, a, a fifth or a sixth episode for the crew to to miss you and want you back, but he instantly had everyone's approval. Not mind reader, I'm just a student like you. We need you, we want you. The character of Adam was really tricky to cast. The thing is we didn't really know what we wanted and then Oliver came in and it just made it clear. The character wasn't originally British, but then we were like, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense if he is. And I know that Chris had done chemistry tests with other people that hadn't worked out. So I was quite nervous to meet him but luckily, we have the same sense of humor and he likes the same thing. And he likes loads of British TV shows. I think we've got chemistry. I think we've got pretty good chemistry. I mean, we'll see how it pans out, you know. We are going to go and find the sappiest love story that we can. And then that will be our movie. I suspect that we're going to see some more McKinleyites in New York. But that's just a suspicion. That's very controversial in the writer's room. I am feeling like Rachel needs to be on Broadway. I want to see her in a show. I want to see her in rehearsals. I want to see her being, you know, in her first dress rehearsal. I want to see her on her opening night. I want to see her in her dressing room. So that's what I feel is the next progression for her. Hello, gorgeous. 